Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and we're going to be going through Godot. If you want me to keep teaching Godot visual scripting, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below that you want more. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to make one script run a function in another script using visual scripting. Okay, so let's start off with the button. Let's go right click and I'm going to attach a script. Da -da -da -da. The language is visual scripting, obviously, because that's what we're doing. I'm just going to leave everything default, not really concerned. Let's go create. From here, what I want to do is I want to have that button to be activated when I click on it. So with the button selected, I'm going to come over to the node, button pressed, boop, and I'm going to select the button. So let's go connect. So when this button is pressed, something needs to happen. Let's go over into the rich text label, right click, attach script, visual scripting, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now I want that text to be changed. So I'm going to click on the rich text, have it highlighted. Let's go to inspector. And over here, I'm going to left click and drag that in there. So now we've got the set text is what we're going to change. If I wanted to get the text, I would hold the control button, left click and drag the text, and then we get that text. Okay. So we need to now create a function. Let's create a function, new function. Let's go with this one, change text, baby. And I'm gonna click that there and plug it in. So now it's gonna change the text, but obviously we've got this value here, which will just stay as is. Now, if I left click, I can't really do it, which is really annoying. That's one of my pet peeves of Godot. So I'm gonna to have to create a variable. So let's create a new variable. Let's double click on that. We'll call this new text. Oh yeah, whoops. New underscore text. From here, I need to right click and edit the member. I actually need to give it some values. So the variant or the type, sorry, will be a string. The value won't be null. It'll be, um, yeah, buddy. Whoops, I can't spell. Yeah, buddy, I will. Let's click close on that. Click and drag and dump that in there. So we get the text of the variable and we're gonna change the text of it. So if I press play now, nothing's gonna happen. It's because we haven't connected the button yet. So let's come back into our button script. Whoops, click it over here. Um, I'm gonna left click and drag the rich text label, dump it into here, but I'm gonna press cancel now. So we've kind of got that link to the other script. Let's jump over here to the right hand side and press function. And then we've got our change text baby. Boop. Let's left click and put that in there. Let's press play, subscribe. Yeah, buddy, I will.